Hi, I'm Scott Greenley, and I'm here on deck at the Gataway Tavern with Stu Keener. We figured this would be a great place to start off this video vlog because the Gataway Tavern is actually the first place that I actually started getting into craft beer. Stu, tell me, when people come here, you got to have like dozens of people a night like me that come here that are just total beer signs. How do you cater what you put on tap to cater to those people? Well, um, it's funny. People think it's really easy to build a tap list, but the truth is, uh, the Gataway's philosophy on beer is we want to empower the customer. We want to find out who they are, find the person, their customer, and figure out what they like to drink. So the first thing we do is we try to get a create a balanced list. What I mean by a balanced list is I want we want you know a lot of a lot of tap lists these days have just a lot of IPAs on it because that's what the people want. But in reality. There's so many other styles, like you, you came to Begataway the first time and you started to drink craft beer and I think it was the toasted lager, the toasted lager, the toasted lager that got you, which is, a, which is a relatively easy drinking beer, not a lot of alcohol to it. And so when we look at our balanced list, you're going to see some lagers on there, you're going to see some saisons, you're going to see some hobby offerings, some seasonal stuff some dark beers. I actually have to give props to my wife Julie Keener because she's the one who actually builds the list. But it, it, it takes more time than folks think. The other piece of it for us is um, educating our staff so that somebody like you comes in and number one, we're not going to tell you what's good or what's not good. What we're going to tell you, we're going to find out what you like. Because as I was explaining before, we don't want beer to go in the direction that wine has gone. We want people to feel very confident in their beer choices. The only way to do that is let them experience as many beers as you can. So for example, here on our list, it says, ask us for a taste. We know it's a big decision. The reason is because beer is very subjective. It is not objective. So what you like might not be what I like. So let me give you a taste. You happen to be drinking the balance of what grapefruits will. Um, so now I know you like IPAs with some citrus. So the law, the long answer is that it takes time to build a list. We use a number of wholesalers, and we just have to care a little bit about it. We want our we want our list to have a soul. We want to find a beer for every beer drinker in there. That's awesome. Now, when this place opened back in 2005, did you ever think that it would turn into such like a beer mecca for the region? No, not really. Um, when we uh, when we got involved, we were thinking it's just a cool neighborhood place that that has a sports theme. But the truth is, it fits really well because it has kind of like a speakeasy feel. You walk down the, uh, you walk down the back steps, then you go into the, the the mahogany wood. It's all reclaimed doors from old mainline mansions, you know. And it just fit really well with craft. And uh, the other thing is, Julie and I, my wife, happen to be passionate about craft beer, so um, and about hospitality and, and and all the things that go along with it. So we're excited that folks like you have found us. Um, and, and keep coming back. That's great. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about the name The Gataway? I know well, there's a history to that. There is. It's, it, um, first of all, we, when, we first named, when they first named it, we weren't part of that. We were like, what a horrible decision, The Gataway. Who knows what that is? And so everybody was calling it the Old Cunninghams. <laughs> but there's a rhyme uh, and reason behind it. The Gataway uh, is the word for the ancient form of the sport lacrosse. And our partners are uh, lacrosse players. They own the wings, all that stuff. I played, but more importantly, um, it fit with Conshohocken because Conshohocken, I think, means Pleasant Valley in, Amer in American Indian. I, I don't remember what dialect. And then Schuylkill, I believe, is Muddy River. So there's the Schuylkill right there. We're in Conshohocken, and here's we got away. So. It's not so much a lacrosse themed bar as it is a neighborhood bar with owners who have a special interest in lacrosse. Okay, so the last question I have. I'm here with my friends. We had a couple of beers. When I walked in, the food smelled you. So is there anything that pairs well with a night of drinking? There's possibly, of course. Uh, absolutely. One of the, our signature sandwich, which is leftover back, back from Cunningham's days, is an MVP. A lot of people have steak sandwiches, not cheese steaks, but steak, but this is actual real filet. And I think real filet goes really well with. Uh, I think IPAs like the one you're drinking pair really well with beef and food, and the burgers are made are made fresh, and, and we're kind of famous for our wings because they're always fresh, never frozen. We marinate, so I think anything to put the flames out. We have a lot of offerings to put the flames out. But if you're going with wings, we've got this German Hellas Lager. I think if you're going with a burger or the MVP fillet sandwich, you might want to go with uh, an IPA or double IPA. 
because uh, I think they work really well. Yeah. It's a good question. Not a lot of people <laughs> talk about beer and food pairing. Right, I'm Scott Greenlee and cheers, Concha Hawkins. Hey guys, I'm here with Chris Evangelis at the Below Deck Bottle Shop downstairs here at the Flanagan's Boathouse, where we're going to try their featured beer of the week. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? So the beer, well actually I would like to talk about the style. It's an, uh, an important style, it's kind of re-emerging uh, in an American way. It's historically a German style beer, it's called a Goza. Uh, it's spelled G-O-S-E, but pronounced Goza. Um, historically, it's a German wheat beer that's like a little bit tart. It's brewed with coriander, sea salt, um, so now it's found its spot in the market in America just because everybody loves sour beer right now. So this is an easy way to get that sour fix without having to pay like $18, $20 for a bottle of beer. So right now we have three options for the style in stock. I expect to see a lot more coming in this summer. So. All right, guys, if you want to try something different and impress your friends with a new style of beer, make sure you come on down to the Below Deck Bottle Shop here at Flanagan's Boathouse.